A typical response to a 911 call includes police, fire, and an ambulance. But there are times when an ambulance is not available. There is a number of different circumstances in our jurisdiction that we have uh, down to zero ambulances available to be able to respond out to those life-saving incidents. Steve Aubert is that a fire captain for the Contra Costa County Fire Protection District. He says the shortage of ambulance services is a problem faced by emergency responders across the country. Contra Costa County has roughly 30 ambulances to respond to their 911 calls. Our ambulance services have been impacted by the pandemic, by the you know recent events that are going on but also a, uh, a large entailed use of the ambulance service just for normal calls going to uh, the hospitals. To reduce the strain on health care services, Contra Costa County Health is urging residents to call 911 only in cases of a true emergency. In a statement, they say several hospitals in the community are reporting critically high level of patients occupying beds with more than 1,200 inpatients reported throughout the county. Hospital emergency departments are similarly impacted. That you may have, have a minor cut, that just because you want to go on an ambulance ride doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to get you into the emergency room any faster. Captain Aubert says some instances of an emergency could be chest pain, difficulty breathing, severe pain, broken bones, or getting burned. He points out that ride share programs are offered throughout the county for those who don't have transportation. And finally, to consider urgent care instead of the ER. We do urge and encourage everyone to utilize other resources, such as the advice nurses, such as an urgent care that is uh, more apt to handle minor uh, injuries and symptoms along those lines. In Martinez, Ansarasen, ABC 7 News.